Hi, I'm Paul Phillips from Walker Smith Architects, uh, and I'm an architect. The existing building is a colonial style building. So it's our current offices and we've grown, so we need to, needed to add on a, a drafting office. The challenge with a colonial style building is how do you add on to it? You don't really want to emulate the existing con uh, architectural style. You want to, to add uh, a, a piece on that's symbiotic with, the, with that style. So we went with the option to have a clip-on, so it looks different to what the um, existing building is like, but it's different to and in style and shape and form to the existing building. So they they next to each other, but they don't contradict each, each other. Um, so that was the one requirement. The other one was that we wanted a big open plan office, um, so there was no disruption, visual disruption between the space. Everybody could see each other. The other thing was we needed a high ceiling uh, space. We wanted to be as, as much volume as we could, and there were some restrictions that, that uh, that we had to adapt in that condition. Um, and the other thing was <clears throat> we wanted the building to be a green building. And um, the challenge with green buildings is it's green under construction and materials that you specify, but is it also green when you finish and you dismantle it and take it away? So uh, those were some of the, the, the considerations we had in the brief. The first criteria being the high ceiling uh, space was a challenge because uh, we had an existing building at a lower level and we had the uh, existing main building and there was a gutter line that governed where the two would intersect. Um, the, the material choice, in this case being light steel frame, was the, really the only solution to achieve the maximum ceiling height in that we could achieve the span with a, a light frame uh, with the least amount of depth. Coupled with that, the, the span and the structure would then go down onto existing buildings and their foundations. So the light steel frame method allowed us to achieve the ceiling height and then also not load the existing foundations. So it answered both those, those criteria. Um, then in terms of the green architecture and, and recycling, a lot of the building was recycled materials that we added on. But we also considered, say, uh, this clip-on to our colonial building needed to be removed. What would we do with the materials that came away from the building? Now, under normal construction methods, your brick and your boards and your, everything you throw away. Whereas with the light steel frame building, you can recycle the, lights, uh, the, the internal metals. You can recycle some of the surfaces that you cleared the building with. So we felt that that was the most sort of eco uh, ecologically friendly method of, of adding to the building. I think with this building, the thing that, that we're most proud of is the fact that we've been true to the construction method. Um, in a lot of places, facadism is something that people use to create intrigue and excitement in buildings. Um, and it's, it's a cladding that goes on to a standard construction method. Whereas in this building, we've been true to the construction method. So uh, it's a light steel frame building that is clad, but we've clad it in, in timber and uh, made, it, made it into this timber box. But we haven't put timber on top of brickwork. We put timber on top of a light steel frame building. And that timber in itself, although it was an expensive solution, also um, solved the problem of a one hour fire rating. So I believe the integrity of the construction method is the, uh, the thing that stands out for this, uh, uh, or this building. Yeah.